This is one that I personally, I was looking through the website and I didn't know what this was. So I wanted to ask you, since we've never talked about it and hopefully you okay. probably know about it. So it's, within the aspects of hosting my website, what is cPanel access? Okay. Um, I understand this moderately well, but I'm certainly not the person that would be uh, like Matthew would probably be the guy that would be best to ask this question because he really understands it. But the cPanel access into your hosting environment is essentially being able to get into all the core files of your website and things like that that are on the server that's hosting your website. So cPanel access would allow you to go in and download the website files if you wanted to, change the website files, things like that if you wanted to. Um, where it's relevant, if you were switching from one hosting company to the next, a company would need cPanel access to go in and download your website files, load them back up on another server, and then repoint your domain at the new server. So it's essentially referring to access to your server environment to access the main files of your website, if you will. So it's not something you want a lot of people to have. I mean, your web, you know, the person that's your webmaster and maybe, you know, some a variety of technical people that you might have working for you, but it's not something that so you just want to have out there to where everybody that works for your company has cPanel access. Cause if you don't know what you're doing, you can crash your entire website pretty easily. No, that makes sense. And that kind of, as I was reading it, that kind of correlates to what else was being said. So I, one, I personally thank you for answering my marketing question. <laughs> well, hey, and again, uh, so, here's the thing to keep in mind real quick on that. Make sure that you have, you understand who's hosting your website and that you understand that you own uh, your website, because there are situations we run into all the time where somebody decides they want to move on and a company is almost holding their website hostage. And, you know, um, you know, just make sure whether it's your domain names, whether it's your hosting environment, whatever it is that it's in your name and that you own uh, the access or you're working with a company that will provide that access. If we have clients that decide they don't want to host with our company, we have no problem giving them those files, giving them access so they can get the files so they can move on if that's what they decide to do. Um, but I can tell you from being on the other side of it, not all companies feel that same way. And some of them can really make it difficult for you to switch. So just make sure you're not in a situation where you find out too late that hey, you know, that company procured your domain name for you under their account, and technically you don't even own your domain name, you know, and, and they don't want to give it to you now because you're moving your service somewhere else. So just make sure you have those discussions with who you're working with to make sure that you can get access to your domain name, your hosting account, everything like that. Doesn't mean you have to have access to it and go in there all the time, but just make sure you're not going to find out after the fact that you really don't own your website don't own your domain name, things of that nature.